I'm Vincent Lusby and we're, we're here on Ballydarrig Farm. It's just outside Limavady, which is a beautiful place to live, uh, very scenic. We breed Alp British Alpine dairy goats and also Toggenbergs. They're, they're good dairy goats, they're good milk goats. I love farming and I love the animals which I care for. There's a planning application in for a major industrial scale pig farm, just about half a mile from here. And they're proposing to um, have about two and a half thousand sows, which will produce up to 60,000 pigs per year on one farm, producing about, uh, nearly about 20,000 tonnes of slurry. Uh, we've never experienced that type of industrial scale pig farming in Northern Ireland before. It's, it's, a, it's a major threat to me, my family and to the farm. It's a quite a large uh, industrial group who have business interests in America, Republic of Ireland and in Great Britain. Important uh, feedstuffs from uh, South America to fatten pigs here, uh, leave the slurry here and then export the pig meat uh, to Chinese market. These large industrial organisations uh, see Northern Ireland as a place where they can get planning applications through for industrial scale farming, uh, whereas they would, would not have the same, they would have greater problems getting them uh, approved in other parts of the UK or other parts of Europe. Um, when you have 60,000 pigs in one, one site, the only way you can keep them alive is using um, high levels of antibiotics and other drugs and that creates, that creates a high uh, risk of antibiotic resistance. We also know that the antibiotic resistance is in the pig slurry. The slurry will be spread from Limavady all the way to the outskirts of Londonderry. That is the scale of this farm. I didn't ask to do this. It's very stressful because at the end result is um, if we lose or when we lose, uh, what options have we got? Uh, the chief planner, for example, says, why don't you just move? I think the greatest power that people have in terms of protecting where they live and their lifestyle is to ask questions. You don't have to be an expert in environmental legislation. You don't have to be an expert in the science uh, around environmental protection. All you have to do is ask the regulatory bodies, why are you doing this? What are you doing? And how are you protecting us?